Uh, thank you for joining us. So the first question we wanted to ask was really, why is climate change a health concern? Well, it's one of the major health issues. We need to be part of this agenda. Climate change is affecting the health of the people in a very direct way by causing uh, death uh, through natural disasters, but more importantly, indirectly, because it's touching the fundamental of our health. <laughs> quality of air, the air we, we breathe every day, uh, the, the, the water we drink if we have problems with access to safe water, the, the agricultural production because it will cause a problem with uh, nutrition and uh, more important than that, all the policies and the decisions we can take on reducing, mitigating the climate change health effects, that might generate a lot of health for the people, that's why we are here. And are we seeing the health impacts of climate change already? Of course, we see it in Africa, where everybody will be expecting it. We see malaria, for instance, in areas where we didn't see it before, in the mountain areas of Kenya, for instance. But uh, uh, people might think that it's just on, in those countries where, uh, which are less privileged. In fact, we've seen already effects of that on very industrialized countries. The air pollution is killing more than 3 million people every year in the world. And most of the cities where people live today are affected by this air pollution. A lot can be to reducing uh, the, the emissions of the greenhouse gases. And by doing so, we will reduce air pollution and therefore uh, improving the health of the people. And you mentioned there's health benefits of tackling climate change. What are they? I think this is mo uh, one uh, part of the agenda that is not yet very well known. There is a potential, fantastic and proof health co-benefits, a series of health co-benefits that can be obtained from good investments on climate change mitigation policies. Let's take the, the, the sample of our cities, our urban development. If you invest on a sustainable transport, public transport system, you not only you will reduce the, the, the emissions, the, the greenhouse gases emissions, but you will generate a, a, a better uh, air quality and therefore reducing cardiovascular diseases, um, chronic respiratory diseases, asthma included. Those diseases are very costly for our health system and, and for our economies this might be a very good argument. And in addition to that you will facilitate that people will walk and do some exercise and having a less sedentary lifestyle. As you know, obesity is one of our major public health issues. So you will have a lot of win-wins, but this is probably the part of the agenda that is not yet very good to, uh, understood by our policymakers. And is health being taken into account at these talks sufficiently? No, no, unfortunately not yet. And it's, it's really a bad thing because uh, there is not only about uh, negative arguments and how much it will cost and how dramatic this is. I think the health can provide very motivating, engaging arguments. The population will be very motivated to do something about fighting climate change if they understand that this is about their health and not just to protect the environment or glaciers or uh, polar bears. Thank you so much for speaking to us.